guys, sa so, eto na yung promise review and quick unboxing ng bagong Vivo S1. And so let's unbox it real quick. Okay. So, yun. Yung box niya guys. Sturdy. Ganda and yun, gorgeous looking. Now, upon opening the box guys. Yan. Bubungan yung sa pang box. Now, this one has the free jelly case. And, maganda ka kanya guys. Look, meron siyang protector dun sa kanyang part. So, yan. Para hindi lagyan ng dust or anything yung kanyang part. So, very good vivo. And, try me eye. So, akin yun. <laughs> We have here some paperworks this one is the manual and the other one is of course warranty card yan so hindi naman natin yung binabasa now next of course the phone itself ito siya okay. wow so look at that gorgeous design guys Shifting from the pearl white to skyline blue to light purple. Sobrang ganda. So, pag-usapan natin yung mamaya. Now, let's see what else are included in the box. So, here is the SIM ejector pin or tool. Yung sabi na Ate Mary, yung may wagang panandot. And... The wall brick or adapter, which is a fast charging. Yan. 18 watts, so 9 volts, 2 amp. And we have the hi fi headphone. And ito, medyo downside. Okay, nakakasad lang. 2019, malapit naman 2020 but, look it still has okay, micro USB, so it's not type C, okay yun nga, sabi ko ito 2020 na the Kahneman Vivo um, of course, may mga smartphones, mostly mid-range, okay ranging from 10,000 above ka type C na sila pero si Vivo ayun nag stick pa rin siya sa micro USB so ayun isang downside para sa akin but since it's fast charging capable naman so okay na rin now pag-usapan natin yung phone so actually guys sinet up ko na siya para mabilisan Look, it has um, an in-display fingerprint sensor, which is very fast. And meron siyang always on display, since itong phone na to guys, is naka super AMOLED siya. So, let's check yung kanyang fingerprint sensor. Look at that. So, very accurate responsive and in less than a second approximately 0.48 ang bilis nya sobra now pag usapan natin yung design okay starting the back this one is plastic pero yung pagka plastic nya sobrang premium looking yun nga lang prone siya sa fingerprint magnet and smudges. Kaya, I advise gamitin yung kanyang free jelly case. Now, sa kanyang bottom, 
meron tayong 3.5mm headphone jack the microphone also the micro USB port and single firing speaker the right side meron tayong power button and lock button and we have the volume up and down rockers sa taas wala and yung sa kanyang left side the same tray and then we have another button which Vivo calls it the Jovi assistant button okay. so kung familiar kaya ka sa ibang phones Samsung meron ganito Bixby button um, other phones the Google assistant now dun tayo sa screen niya. as mentioned meron siyang super AMOLED display and the display is at 6.38 inch full HD plus na merong 2340 by 1080p resolution so yan um kanyang processor guys I don't know if it's a bummer for someone or most it's MediaTek Helio P65 clock at 2.0 GHz the core and meron din siyang Mali G52 GPU so yan if you are not a gamer or um yeah kung hindi ka naman extensive gamer like ang mga ginigame mo is uh, Asphalt 9 or mga high frame rate na uh, games so okay na to um this one I already use it for a day and a half and I can say it's sobrang bilis pa rin niya pwede naman siya malaro guys yung mga games na ganun yung Asphalt 9 but you just need to tweak the settings so babaan nyo yung mga um settings ganun para ma-play nyo siya yung maayos or smoothly no this one has 6 gigabytes of ram and also a whopping 120 gigabytes of storage kagandahan nito guys look at the sim tray so here So the SIM tray guys offers a versatile expansion. Meron tayong dalawang nano SIM tray and a micro SD card slot. So yan. Other phones kasi on this range either tinatanggalan na nila ng versatility like walang expansion slot or yung iba naman it's either a hybrid SIM tray like isang nano SIM and then the other one is either a nano SIM or a micro SD this one is already 4G LTA capable phone Bluetooth 5.0 and yun nga, as discussed in display fingerprint sensor siya since it's a super AMOLED meron siyang face unlock however according sa mga nababasa at napapanood ko sa youtube face unlock is less secured than the fingerprint so fingerprint yung ginagamit ko liban na lang kung naka IR blaster ka like the iPhone 10s or the 10s max yung mga ganong range okay that's sobrang mahal nun and yung OS nya it's running android 9 pi skin with Fantouch OS 9 and the thickness of course 
8.1 millimeters pero manipis na yun para sa akin guys now bakit ko sinabi kasi imagine nyo yung kanyang battery it's already 4500 milliamperes battery sobrang taas nan guys and as I mentioned nagamit ko na siya ng a day and a half and I can say extensive views nakuan ang data ko um, with VPN of course umabot siya sa akin ng 13 hours so yun, screen on time yung mga ginawa ko nagplay ako ng mga videos dalawang movies yon guys and nakakatawa sa kanya 23% nung enough ko yung data sinimulan kong nanood na isang movie pagkatapos ng movie 17 yung natira so 6 um yun nga 6% lang yung nabawas sa kanya and that movie lasted for an hour and 45 minutes so yun nakakatawa bakit? kasi nga guys super amulet sya so yung explain ko yun mamaya now this one okay also has a dark mode so yun ito sya yan so bakit nga ba kinakailangan ng dark mode so kasi pag super amulet yung phone mo at pag nag dark mode ka the energy is totally dead ang super amulet kasi ang nirequire niya kung saan may light kung saan may colors dun lang ang energy niya so it's more battery efficient energy efficient at kung dinamit ko siya hindi siya uminimit so yun, good job before now yun tayo sa most interesting part cameras so ito siya and this one as so you can see it has three pole camera sensors the primary one is a 16MP okay. frame frame stop 1.78 so diniscuss ko to noon sa isang vlog ko regarding the frame stop the lower the frame stop the more capable it is for low light photography so imagine nyo yun guys 16MP frame 1.78 next one we have 8 megapixels frame 2.2 wide angle lens and of course we have the bokeh sensor it's 2 megapixels at frame 2.4 right so dun tayo sa harap guys front camera this one is 32 megapixels frame 2.0 Now, magpa-flash ako ng mga sample photos and videos here para ma-check natin Another phones guys, this phone is capable of the Google camera or the Gcam. So, sa mga mahilig sa photography, siya, it's a plus na yung phone nato is capable of the Gcam. So, na-download ko siya and alam naman natin, pag Gcam, 
yung output ng photo super crisp saturation the details are very good okay so working siya both the rear and the front pero yung portrait niya hindi gumagana so it's just the camera itself okay but kung gusto niyo ng may portrait syempre ilapit niyo yung subject para magka portrait siya so yun na lang yung work around but for now kaya may enjoying it maganda yung output ng kanyang camera guys and nakatulong talaga yung gcam sa kanya so yun guys now this one retails for 14,999 pesos cross nyo guys of course super amoled number one yun it's more battery efficient tapos under direct sunlight kayang kaya nya nakikita mo pa rin yung panel mo okay or yung text anything viewing angles very good din and color saturation ang ganda sobra so yun another thing yung kanyang battery endurance ng battery nya it's super haba so yun kung ikaw yung mahilig gumala or on the go lagi kasi hindi ka um, may stress or you know, magdadal lang power bank mag-worry na malalobat agad siya kasi hindi siya ganun kabilis malobat guys I'm telling you this is based on experience another thing versatile camera so yan meron siyang wide angle pwede siya sa gcam yan you can play around with it and kanyang design super premium and nakatulong din yung kanyang pagiging plastic okay. since alam natin pag nahulong mo yan hindi yan agad-agad mababasad hindi kagaya ng ipang glass dyan tsaka masakit na sa kamay since it's you know sandwich with glass and aluminum frame sobrang bigat yan sa kamay pag nilalaro now ang nakikita kong con sa kanya, isa lang yung kanyang USB or micro USB so 2019 na magta 2020 na sana pa USB or micro USB pa rin siya so dapat ginawa na lang ding USB type C so just like what I mentioned it retails for 14,999 pesos may mga ibang phones dyan nakagaya niya ng price range pero naka USB type C sila so yun lang naman yun guys pero bumawi siya sa fast charging um, nakalimutan kong banggitin yung pag charge niya it's an hour and a half or less than an hour and a half so yun before siya mo full charge so yun thank you guys so much now if you like this video kindly hit the like and comment na rin kung may mga katanungan kaya dyan or anything or reference ko rin sa next vlog so thank you so much and I love you all more